Hi, good afternoon, class. Welcome to our virtual class. This is Teacher Cha. Today, I will discuss to you the partitive nouns and the possessive nouns. I hope you will listen to our discussion because we will have our activity online. What is partitive nouns class? Partitive nouns means to divide into parts, also known as counters. These are used to make non-countable nouns singular or plural. So, how do partitive nouns make the non-countable nouns singular or plural? So, we will discover that later on. Partitive nouns have two kinds of nouns. The countable nouns, which means are nouns that can be counted and they have plural form. So, meaning, maihap siya, o naapod siya, plural forms. For example, is the tomato. Tomato is countable and have a plural form, which is tomatoes. Diba? So, next noun, nouns is the countable nouns. The countable nouns means are nouns that cannot be counted. So, dili siya may have known as mass nouns. Non-countable nouns form their plural in different ways. So, naadi siya laing paagi para mahimu siyang plural. They cannot, they cannot have S or ES to form plural. So, isa on the ay pag how the non-countable nouns to make it plural. So, partitive nouns are required to make them plural. So, mao din na. So, ang plural, para ma-plural ang non-countable nouns, they need to add the partitive nouns or they use the partitive nouns to make the non-countable nouns plural or singular. These are some examples of countable, no, countable and non-countable nouns. The countable nouns example is box, which is the plural form is boxes. Glass, glasses, dish, dishes, wa, uh, sandwich, sandwiches, apple, apples, cake, cakes, wife, and wives. So, here are some the non-countable nouns food, which is juice, water, alcohol, wood, sugar, flour, grass, chocolate. So, those are the the non-countable nouns and countable nouns example. These are the commonly used partitive nouns. It has it divided into four columns, which is the noun, partitive, singular, and plural. So, arena tuma. This is the answer of our question earlier, which is how the partitive nouns help the non-countable nouns to make it singular or plural. So, in this table, we can see there is some words uh, that will make the uh, uh, non-countable into singular and plural, which is the partitive plays a big role to make the non-countable nouns singular and plural. For example, this is the butter, which, the, which is the partitive noun is bar. If we will combine both noun and the partitive, it will turn out it will turn out into bar of butter, which is the singular of the non-countable nouns. But butter alone is considered is a non-countable noun. But 
if you add the uh, partitive nouns, it will turn out into singular and bar and plural. So, in terms of plural, we have to add S to the partitive words to make the plural form, which is bar of butter. The next example is chocolate. If chocolate alone, it consider that chocolate is a non-countable nouns and because of the presence of the partitive nouns which is the which is bar so we could we can transform the non-countable nouns into singular and plural form which is bar of chocolates and bars of chocolate in plural so same same goes to the other words given in the table so sand grain the partitive is grain or sock then the, when you make it singular it can be grain of sand or sock of sand and to make it plural it can be grains of sand or sacks of sand then next is the salt the spoonful is the partitive so it turns into singular the spoonful of salt and to make it plural the spoonfuls of salt and it can it can be a spoonful of salt or spoonfuls of salt so next is hair hair is the noun and the partitive is strand so to make it singular strand of hair and to make it plural strands of hair Cheese. Cheese is noun and slice is a partitive. So to make it singular, a slice of cheese. And to make it plural, it's slices of cheese. Slices of cheese is the plural form. Then lettuce is the noun. Head. Is the partitive. Then to make it singular, a head of lettuce. And to make it plural, heads of lettuce. And it can be heads of cabbage, or heads of, of cabbage, head of carrots, or heads of carrots. That is the singular and plural form using the partitive nouns and the last example is oil and the partitive noun is bottle so to make it singular a bottle of oil and to make it plural bottles of oil so always remember class that if you if you want to transform the non-countable nouns into singular and plural form you need to put a partitive noun before the noun to make it singular and plural form. Next is the partitive nouns is have also a noun quantifiers that are used to quantify count nouns and mass nouns. So these are the few words in the table that you could use in quantify the nouns. For example of this, this word, or oh, this word is, have an example. Using match is, the sentence is, I feel much worse now. So you can't, you can't, uh, measure or you can't measure the words that you feel but you can quantify it using the noun quantifier which is much next example is it doesn't need much milk so if you if you uh, use the much make sure that make sure that the noun is uncountable noun 
For example, if the milk, milk is an uncountable noun. So, to make it, uh, to make it countable, or to make it, to quantify the milk, how much is, so, we need to use much. The next word is many. Many is also a quantifier. Quantifier, you can use many uh, in count nouns. So, many used in this sentence. How many cars in the gallery? So, cars is plural form. So, meaning, it is count nouns. It is count nouns word. So, to quantify the cars, we need to uh, we use the many. Next sentence is, I have many things to do. So, to quantify the things is, we need to uh, use the noun quantifier, many. Use, uh, next is, quantifier is a lot of. So, they've got a lot of orange juice. So, orange juice is a non-countable noun. We can measure, we cannot measure or we cannot count the orange juice because it is a liquid. Then, because of the presence of non-quantifier, non so we can quantify the orange juice using the a lot of, a noun quantifier. Same as goes the next sentence, I have a lot of pencils. So next is using some. I asked her, I asked her to lend me some money. So some is a little. So some is use both count nouns and math nouns. And to quantify those both nouns is you have to make uh, you have to use the sum. Okay? So, next sentence is, He will bring some friends to the party next week. And that's all for the partitive nouns. So, let's proceed to the possessive nouns. Possessive nouns form of the nouns shows possession or ownership. For example is, I possess a car. So, meaning... I own the car or I have a car. Possessive nouns have a basic grammar rules in showing the possessive nouns. Rule number one is simply add an apostrophe and S to most singular nouns that do not end in S. So, for example, of this sentence is the imagination of child. So, child doesn't end in an apostrophe or an S. So, in to make it the sentence to singular possessive nouns, we have to add a apostrophe and S. So, the sentence goes is like this. The child's imagination. So, there is an apostrophe and S at the end of the noun. Next example is the car of Bob. So, to make it singular possessive nouns, the sentence goes like this. Bong's car. So, the rule number two is Simply add an apostrophe to plural nouns ending in S to form the possessive. So, mag-add tau apostrophe sa nag-end sa plural form na nag-end og S. For example, this sentence is the comfort room of the ladies. So, ladies is plural nouns. To make it plural possessive nouns, we have to put an apostrophe next to the S. So, it goes the ladies room, comfort room. The ladies comfort room. Next rule is 
add apostrophe and s to the end of the plural noun that does not end in s or doesn't end an apostrophe and s. So, for example, is the party of the children. So, doesn't end an apostrophe and doesn't end an s. So, therefore, we have to add an apostrophe and s to make it the sentence children's party. So, the sentence is now a plural possessive noun. Rule number four. Singular nouns and proper nouns ending in S form the possessive by adding apostrophe and S. However, due to, he, to its hissing sound, simply add apostrophe. For example, the engine of the bus stop. So, it will, we have to put an apostrophe S from the word, to the word bus. So, to make the sentence singular, a singular possessive noun is the bus engine stop. The bus engine stop. Next sentence is the diary of the princess. So, therefore, the princess is the nouns, the singular noun. So, and it ends in S. So, we have to add a apostrophe s or a apostrophe so to to make the sentence uh, singular possessive is it goes like this is princess diary or princess diary rule number five compound nouns can form their possessive by adding apostrophe and s to the end of the compound words. So, for example, is this is the stamp of the post office. The post office stamp. The noun is the office. So, we have to add apostrophe s for the compound nouns. Rule number six. Hyphenated nouns can form their possessive by adding apostrophe and s to the end of the hyphenated words. For example, if this is the advice of the attorney at law to make the sentence uh, hyphenated possessive nouns, it goes like this. Attorney at law's advice. Attorney at law's advice. So, next is rule number seven. When two nouns share ownership, add apostrophe and s to the second noun. This is called joint ownership. So, when the name of the nouns ends in s, simply add a apostrophe. Kung s ang iyang last. However, it is optional. So, optional na siya. Rule number 8. When two nouns are joined, the ownership is separated. Each noun receives apostrophe and s. So, for example is, the car of Vincent is painted blue and the car of Emmanuel is painted green. So, therefore, to make it the sentence, uh, the ownership separated, so, we have to put, to put uh, apostrophe S and to both names to make it the nouns joined and the ownership is separated. So, Vincent and Emmanuel's cars are painted blue and green. The last rule is rule number nine. When the inanimate object shows possession, stick with the of face. For example, the bed of roses. So, the sentence doesn't need to change, but you have to stick the of face. So, this, it's the same. For example, another example is the face of the clock. So, it goes with the face of the clock. So, nothing's changed. Stick with the face, with the face of the word. Then, always remember class that floral form is different 
from possessive noun. You didn't add uh, you didn't add apostrophe when writing the plural form of the nouns. Okay? So that's all for today. Thank you and I hope you learned from us, uh, from me rather. So we will have an activity later. So be, be ready always. Be ready always. Okay? Thank you and goodbye class.